G'day, Joe Cross here from Reboot Your Life, and also you might know me from my movie, Fat, Sick and Nearly Dead. Today, I'm here to talk about juicing. We've got some apples, green apples, we've got some celery, some kale, some spinach, cucumber, lemon, and my favourite, some ginger. So once again, we fire up our machine. With this one, what I've done is I've cut up the lemon and the apple beforehand, simply because it's just a bit easier to go through, but with everything else, it can go in whole. In with our celery. This time we're gonna mix it up a little bit. We're not gonna put everything in in the same time. We're gonna put it in as a little bit of a break so it can wash some of it through. Our spinach, just take a handful. Don't worry if it goes anywhere. Just get it in, down the chute. Spinach and kale, of course, are extremely high up on the density of nutrition per calorie. I mean, kale, it's a superfood. Lots of apple. You can see it coming through there. I mean, it's just really green juice coming out the other side. You notice the lemon I've got the skin on? You don't have to, but I'm, I'm big on putting the lemon through. Now some ginger. Depending on how much ginger you want in, I like my ginger, so I put a bit more in than, than others would. A couple of sticks. You only need to put an inch in if you're not real big on it. So you can see our juice is coming up there. We've got about two inches off the base there. Now, if you're not real, if you're a bit nervous about the uh, veggies, the idea of the apple does sweeten it up. Some people don't like to have the apple in. I do, because I've got a bit of a sweet tooth. But if you don't, if you feel like you want to go a little bit more hardcore, you can leave the apple and the lemon out. All right, we'll put our last bit of spinach in and then we'll see what we get on the other side. You notice how much produce I had here. I've liquefied all of this up and I've juiced it and I've separated the body or the fibre from all of that fruit and veg to the right side and the juice is over here on the left. So if we take a look at that, we call this a mean green at Reboot. And I'm just going to get a bit of a stir. Not that it needs, it's actually assimilated pretty well. And just, just have a look at that. I mean, that just looks fabulous, doesn't it? And just watch how it pours out. Look at that, free basing mother nature. Perfect. We'll have a quick taste of that. See how it passes the Joe taste test. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh. I can really taste the ginger because I like a bit of ginger. It's got a nice little spice to it. Good in the winter time as well to have a bit of heat in the juice to warm you up. That's great. Now let's just take a quick look. A lot of the complaints I get is that, you know, the Joe, you've got to clean the juicer afterwards. And my response to that is no pain, no gain. But let's have a look at what comes in, what we've actually taken out, the fibre, the, the, I'll put my hand in there and just have a look at that. You can see that this is you can see that so there's part of the lemon that's come through that's taken all the juice out. So there it is there, the, the, the mixture of all the fibre and it's, it's actually pretty dry. And uh, you can put that on the garden, it's good for the compost. Um, you even might want to see if the, uh, the uh, pets, dogs, dogs might be interested. Or you can also make some cookies out of it. But there you have it, that's uh, the easy way of making mean green. Um, garden in a cup. Juice on. Bye for now.